Welcome back from the break, Rams, and thanks for tuning in to Primetime Sports. I'm Erica Johnson. And I'm Brendan Fairbairn. The CSU men's hockey team had a tough matchup this weekend against the University of Arizona, losing 4-1 and falling to Arizona State University 4-2 and 4-1. Erica, you were at the game. What did you see? Well, you know, they really need to focus on that puck possession and just lining up the team. You know, they really failed to line up defensively and offensively. So, you know, that was the biggest thing that I saw, and that really capitalizes on the win for ASU right here at that empty net goal. The Rams really need to focus on offense and execution going into their next game. It seemed like they were gaining momentum, but then it just kind of fizzled out. The Rams have lost the last six games. Next game is Friday at Eastern Michigan. As we highlighted last week, there are some athletes that Brendan and I would like to acknowledge. Brendan, who do you feel is doing the most this week? Erica, my doing the most award this week goes to sophomore guard Adam Thistlewood for his clutch 24-point performance against Nevada last Wednesday night. Right here we have Isaiah Stevens taking it down the court, finding Thistlewood on the outside. Thistlewood driving in, showing that not only is he a shooter, but he can get dirty in the paint with that and one play. And here we have David Roddy using his big body to get the block. And I, uh, Kendall Moore gets the rebound, drives under the net, and finds Thistlewood on the outside for this clutch three at the end of the second half. <laughs> and here we have Nico Carvacho using his elite vision to find Thistlewood under the net for a highlight reel dunk. Yeah, that just really, you know, sets up that for Thistlewood. You know, that dunk just really showed it. Yeah, not only did Thistlewood have a career-high 24 points, he also had a career-high in field goals made by go made going 7 for 10 and was perfect at the foul line. Thistlewood was looking like Steph Curry out there, and he's a shooter CSU needs to take them the distance. That is why Thistlewood is getting my doing the most award. So Erica, who does your doing the most award go to this week? Well, the swim and dive team, from splashes of victories to academics, this team is the definition of student athletes. The Colorado Swimming Diving Coach Coaches Association of America recognizes students that have achieved a 3.0 or higher GPA. For five consecutive seasons, the NCAA has honored CSU's team as a top 10 academic program. CSU's women's swim and dive team has an average GPA of 3.4. All nine teams in the Mountain West Conference made that list, but CSU's GPA ranked third. Yeah, that's so awesome that the swim and dive team is not only representing CSU athletically, but academically in the highest fashion. Yeah. The Ram buzz this week is CSU standout wide receiver Warren Jackson. We went to Twitter and asked you guys if you thought it was fact or fiction that Warren Jackson will get over 1,000 yards again next season. And here we have... Uh, we have the polls right here. We have 85% saying fact that he will get over 1,000 yards and 15% mm -hmm. saying fiction. Do you agree with Rambo's, Erica? Uh, you know, I agree with the 85% that said fact. You know, he is an athlete that, like you said, stands out. You know, last year, Jackson dominated in yards. Why can't he do it again? I agree with Rambo's, <laughs> too. Uh, Jackson averaged an impressive 111 yards per game last season and also set the CSU record for most receiving yards in a four-game stretch with 657 yards. The only question I have is who's going to be throwing him the ball since Colin Hill and Patrick O'Brien are both gone. Well, you know, that's a good point. I mean, there is a spot up for grabs and a big spot, you know. Oh, absolutely. That's a big spot to fill and shoes to fill. And, you know, I think that this comes down to Adazio, and he's just going to make the right choice at who's going to throw the best absolutely. to the wide receivers and the running backs. Yeah, I'm interested to see what Adazio does, too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Question two from the Ram Buzz polls. We asked Rams what they thought about freshman basketball player David Roddy. You know, we asked if David Roddy will get over or we'll get the Mountain West uh, uh, Player of the Year. So, yeah. Brendan, what do you think about this one? Yeah, this was or uh, this was a close one, but um, I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to go with the majority here. Roddy has averaged 12 points a game all season, but most importantly, he knows when to turn up his game. Roddy plays played his best game against conference opponents. He had 20 plus points against San Jose State and Fresno State. He also had 13 rebounds against border war rival Wyoming. Roddy now has 11 straight games with 10 plus points and plans to continue that streak against Fresno State a week from tonight. He's a big reason why the Rams are sitting in second in the Mountain West Conference. And that is why I believe Roddy will win Mountain West Freshman Player of the Year. 
<laughs> well, you know, we can't count out Isaiah Stevens. Yeah, you know, he got that buzzer beater last week, and, you know, he was named the Mountain West Player of the Week, and he's fourth in the league in scoring, and he's third in the Mountain West in assists. You know, he averaged also a third, or his average scoring average ranks third in history for a CSU freshman. He has a lot going for him. You know, you, so you can count on him for that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's very reliable. Our last question for Rambuzz, we asked Rams Nation on who you thought was the women's basketball MVP so far this season. Right here, we have 41% for Mackenzie Ellis, 35% for Andrea Brady, and 24% for other. This is a very close one. Uh, who's your MVP this season? Well, you know, that's a tough one, but both are incredible athletes, and I think Mackenzie Ellis brings that leadership position to the team. Ellis, you know, she wants to be a coach after her journey at CSU. Yeah, no doubt. Ellis is the leader of the team with the experience she brings, but Andrea Brady is my MVP this season. Brady is a board machine as she leads the team with 136 rebounds on the season. She also had an outstanding 23 rebound game against San Jose State earlier last month, but rebounding isn't the only thing she can do. Brady averages 10 points a game with a 45% field goal rating. Brady's versatility is what makes her my MVP. Well, you know, it could go either way on this one, you know. Like the Rambas pulls, they were really close, and you know, just either way. Yeah, absolutely. They both are versatile. Well, our final and favorite segment, Can You Do That? We have unbelievable plays from women's basketball <coughs> and even a fan submission. Brendan, you want to start that one off? Absolutely. <laughs> For our first play of Can You Do That? We have Washington State versus UCAL Bears. Um, Chanel Molina channels her inner Patrick Mahomes with a one hand one-handed shot across the court. Sadly, the shot did not count, but um, they still won the game. <laughs> well, yeah, she's got a better arm than some NFL she, players. Oh, yeah, Quarterbacks, absolutely. you know. <laughs> yeah, our final clip is a fan-submitted video from Kyle Koontz. Yeah, this one right here, you know, he has that T in his mouth. I would never trust anyone that much or, you know, see that anyone could get that accurate. I just, I would never. <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely. That takes a I lot of trust. I'm, I'm <laughs> terrible at golf. I, I would not try that at all. <laughs> right. Well, Rams, thanks for tuning in to Primetime Sports. Tune in tomorrow for Local Beats. Same time, same channel. Take care. Have a great evening and have a good night.